Hey guys, this is Sura Sony and you are watching Chemstar. So friends, once again, welcome back on Chemstar. So friends, in today's session, I am going to discuss with you how to calculate percent spike recovery. Alright, so basically this concept comes in picture when you work in any uh, food laboratories where uh, extraction plays a major role so in this session i will let you know how to calculate a percent spike recovery so be with me till the end of this video so let's start for the today's session so friends in today's session we are going to learn how to calculate a percent spike recovery so for understanding how to calculate a percent spike recovery i have I am taking here one example so let's begin with the example so exam uh, so question is an unknown was found to contain 10 microgram of analyte per liter so basically here we have given one liter of unknown solution and when we analyze this unknown solution we found that uh, in one liter of unknown solution we have got 10 microgram of analyte all right so next is a spike of 5 microgram per liter was added to a replicate portion of unknown so what happens when we try to find out the unknown uh, analyte in the unknown solution what we do is we prepare a extract solution in the vials so uh, we prepare two vials uh, one in which the extracted solution contains and the another one which contains extracted solution plus externally externally added uh, interested compound which we are going to determine in that particular compound so here we have prepared two vials uh, in first vials we have extracted unknown analyte and in second vial we have uh, extracted unknown plus the spike and this is spike may be can be a uh, our interest of analyte which we doubt may be present in our uh, unknown solution all right so analysis of the spiked sample gives a concentration of 14.6 microgram per liter so when we analyze the spiked sample we find that there uh, we found the concentration of that is spiked sample is 14.6 microgram per liter so we have to find out here percent recovery of the spike so uh, let's see how we can find out the percent spike recovery so here first i have written what we have given in the question so we have given in the question concentration of spiked sample so here we have got the concentration of spiked sample which is 14 point 14.6 microgram per liter so we have we had prepared two vials first in which we have only unknown and second in which we have unknown plus spiked so spiked vial uh, spiked vial we have got the concentration of spiked vial as 14.6 microgram per liter and the concentration of unspiked sample we have got after analysis is 10 microgram per liter and concentration added in the second vial as a spike is 5 microgram per liter so let's see how we can find out the percent spike recovery so find for finding out the percent spike recovery we can use this formula percent spike recovery equals to concentration of spiked sample minus concentration of unspiked sample divided by concentration added into 100 all right so here we will simply put the value of concentration of spiked sample which is 14.6 microgram per liter minus concentration of is unspiked which is 10 microgram per liter divided by concentration is concentration added that means concentration is spiked is 5 microgram per liter into 100 after calculating we will find out the answer as 92 percent so here we have got the percent spike recovery which is 92 percent so simply uh, we only need to know the formula for finding out the percent spike recovery which is concentration is spiked minus concentration of unspiked divided by concentration added into 100 by knowing this simple formula we can easily find out the we can easily find out the percent spike recovery so here we have got 92 percent spike recovery so uh, here i have written note 
if the acceptable recovery is specified to be in the range from 96 to 104 percent then 92 percent is unacceptable unacceptable if if we are going to uh, decide uh, uh, our acceptable values in between the 96 to 104 percent then here in this case we have got 92 percent so this 92 percent will be unacceptable so I hope friends you have found this video useful and you have understood the concept of percent spike recovery. So thank you very much for watching this video till end. Thanks again. Keep watching. Keep learning.